black ball. Black, black, black ball. Let's let's end it on a light note and talk about abortion. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. Where do you stand on it? And and what do you think uh, the the Supreme Court decision in the states uh, will, if any, will have any impact uh, in Canada? No, I don't think it will have an impact in Canada. The only impact that we have right now is we are we are speaking about it because of because it's it is in the news in the U.S. But uh, it won't have any impact at the federal level. I don't believe that we'll have a legislation on abortion in Canada. But because also we are the only political party that is ready to open the debate. I saw Pierre Polyev yesterday at the at the debate, the conservative debate, and he said he's pro-choice and he doesn't want to open the debate. But I believe, what are you? What are you? But but for me, for me, the uh, the People's Party don't have any position on abortion, and we won't. We are welcoming uh, <coughs> free free choice of people, uh, and we are coming also uh, people that are ready to reopen the abortion debate. We are saying to them, you can run with us. And it would be your right to table a bill on any subject. That's the right of a member of parliament. They can table a private bill. And yes, I said that to journalists in engagement in French at the last campaign, that as a leader, I will, I will let that debate happen and we'll see what will happen. And the second question that the journalist asked me is just the one that you asked me about what is my personal position? My personal position, and I just add that it would be a free vote for everybody. But as a leader, yes, I want that debate, debate to be reopened because it's not normal normal in, in this country that we, you can have an abortion an hour before giving birth. And I'm against against late-term abortion because at that time it's a murder and I'm against sex selection abortion. So that's my personal position. I believe Those that account for like less than a percent of abortions though. So so what, I, what I'm getting out of this is that you're pro-choice, um, but you, you want certain limits so that means that they're like so right now it's decriminalized so there's no abortion law on the books and yeah. so I, it's funny because what you're saying I've, i'm hearing a lot more people from the left say this too is that the reason why the abortion um why pro-choice activists feel like uh, the abortion rights might be in danger is because there's no laws on the books black ball black 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 ball